Golden Tiger, Ronald but Rodriguez this is a close serve, second. I think this one could be fireworks. Best of five games, Lovell. And we're in. Could there be fireworks from the cannonball? And out, one love. Lisa, almost Two love. doesn't look like Rodriguez out there because he's not sporting any of his <laughs> usual attire, as you mentioned. Very odd. He's got matching shoes on, which is also uncharacteristic. And he's got a headband, which you don't usually see from him either. But it's all because his bags still have not arrived from Bogota. So he's gone and bought himself some new shoes. He's wearing Mohamed El Shabini's kit, I believe. And out. That explains everything. We One, two. Very nicely, shall we say, fitted outfits from Rodriguez. Very bright, stylish in pretty much everything. And he got on the bus this morning to practice around 8.30. And I was on it, and his bag was just a plain navy bag. And I thought, oh, maybe Rodriguez is going through a bit of a crisis. So that explains everything. Let's hope that the flare in his squash is still there. He does have his own racket, though. To travel. I don't know if he has more than one, but he said he did carry a racket on. Very so. smart. Do you do that? A, one racket and a pair of shoes. Very, very smart. It's certainly worth it, as you can see. Oh, nice finish and for Moment. Three, one. Of course, just holding long enough. Lisa, do you have a prediction for me? Nope. All right, can you give me a prediction? Nope. <laughs> Not doing any predictions this tournament. No. Having a tournament off. Interesting. Why is that? Just would rather focus on the commentary rather than the betting. This one. My tally was starting to sway in the, the wrong direction. If I was to if I was to give one, tarot moment for me. It's Four just, one. Obviously, the head to head heavily in favor, but I'm just not sure Miguel has what it takes to just defeat Woman today. Of course, he's capable of having one off matches, he can be absolutely unbelievable. But the traveling companion, with Rodriguez, this trip. Next to Will El Hindi as coach, Kinetic Club of Florida. I do wonder, Lisa, how much of a difference Miguel Rodriguez not wearing his own shoes could make because. 
personally, I feel Three, that four. makes a massive difference. If I don't feel confident in my movement, especially these courts here, it can be a little bit slippery as well. You know, it completely messes up, up your footwork, your timing, your confidence in, in your body. So I wonder... I would actually go as far as saying I would rather not have my rackets but have my shoes and yeah, not the other way around. And I think that would be not what people would expect. Because essentially, if you move well and you're confident in your movement, typically you then hit well. Yeah, and the shoes are so personal as well, right? They've molded it to your body, to your foot. It's obviously why for break in shoes. But you can, nowadays as well, a few different brands of rackets make a very similar, similar model of racket, don't they? You can much more easily adapt to different rackets. What type of rackets do you use, Nicole? Not ones you can wear on your feet. <laughs> well, I've played with Harrow for a good bit of time now. Currently moved actually to the Raneem Awalili signature racket days. this season. Five, there she goes. Four. Oh. Well, I See what you did there, Nicole. <laughs> can't say speak of the devil because she's anything but that. Certainly not. Yeah, it's fantastic. Fantastic racket. We actually just saw Sama Hani use that racket as well in the previous match. Down. 7-4. It's a good squeeze from Rodriguez. Shahir. The kid, Tarek Momin, just looking on nervously. His wife pregnant with a second child. Ranima Walili, former world number one world champion. Oh, yeah. what a finish from the cannonball. 8-4. Trademark backhand volley Five, drop from eight. Momin. Fada Momin to the left, sister of Tarek Momin and Renim on the right hand side, the wife. Was a squash player herself, sister Fada Momin. So three point cushion for the cannonball. Six, eight. This is incredibly soft. Right in an area of the court. That he will lap up all day long. Lisa, can you name one player on the tour, men or women, yes, who sir. hits a shorter, Six, softer eight, drop than Tarek Momin? Hmm, good question. I know there certainly used to be. Anio, Hong Kong. Baby. 
gonna say no because he is the very best. You? No, certainly the best. Yeah, I can't think of think of anyone. Yeah. Such a fine and margin, out. though, isn't it? Nine Just six. Clipping the ten on that one. No comments, no comments. Let me have a think. Yes, let. Player review, review. Rodriguez on the yes, let. Wants to decision. volley this. Wants to get onto the ball early. Tightness for a moment. Not quite there against the side wall. So the video referee will be determining what the line is, what the correct line is for Rodriguez. That angle there makes it look like the ball's. Well, from the same position, Moman has the ability to go short, which we've seen the past few times. So if you feel that Rodriguez does have to cover the short ball, but also it's not, not incredibly great quality from Moman either, is it? So yes, that decision upheld. Rodriguez has one review remaining. Nine six. Actually, very nice, but just makes me chuckle because it's so out of character. Here's a question for you if your suitcase was lost, pick one player on the women's tour that you're asking for their outfit. Ooh. Because of style or because I think it'll fit me? Don't need to overthink it. <laughs> it's important. I mean, or because they're just a good friend, so I feel comfortable asking them. Right, you've overthought this question. <laughs> Welcome to my brain. Elisa, well, you had pretty good outfits yourself, so guess what? I'm calling you. I'm calling you in for the favor. Pretty stylish with the dresses. To add a few inches to my dress, I think. No, I wear them you. pretty short. <laughs> Lengthy rally, a lot of pressure. Just hanging in and no more here, the cannonball. Nice work and rally for Moman this. Not trying to hit an outright winner too soon. Happy to, for this to extend on and on. Put the physical work into Rodriguez and he's done just exactly that. Tough, tough Seven rally. Nine. Into the legs and lungs. The Colombian. Yeah, a lot of composure from moment in that rally, wasn't there? He just held and punched the ball deep with a fading length over and over again. That will have done some damage to the quads. Rodriguez. It's one of those rallies that might might be worth two or three. Which is important given the two point deficit in this first. Trying to lift the ball a little bit higher in this rally, Rodriguez. By himself some time. Yes, let sufficient interference. From the right, Final last year at this tournament, I felt it was Tarek Moment back playing that level of squash that he had when he took the World Championship title. The most important part for me was he was enjoying himself on there. There's a lot to be said for that. 
Yeah, absolutely. I think it's pretty evident with Moen when he's not enjoying himself on court. <laughs> Gets involved with the ref, makes a lot of comments, and yeah, it doesn't, it's only, kind of only going one way, so for him it's extremely important to feel to enjoying his time out there. Yeah. Costly, costly error and for a moment at the back seven. end. Yeah, just like that shot, but it wasn't quite there. Rodriguez quite far up in the court. He'd read the flick was coming. It's three game balls for the Colombian to take this opening game. <laughs> anticipating the cross court. <laughs> How much height do you reckon he got on that jump? Lots. It was quite extraordinary. Now I'm really curious as to what his plyometric small... regime is. Yeah, exactly. I wonder what sort of height of a box he could jump onto. No let. Player review, Rodriguez on the no let decision. Another review coming in for Rodriguez. His ball is very tight. You know, it's almost a similar situation to what we saw previously, isn't it, Lisa? But this time, the quality is there for a moment. It's running tight in towards the sidewall. There's more distance between Rodriguez and the ball. not able to just step over there's, there's also obviously yeah, just the quality for moment is much much better it's much lower not much access yes, from moment though Rodriguez has one review remaining eight yes, ten game ball decision I felt that you needed to soften your follow-through you made yourself what? too tense and that's why no and that's why we've made that decision that's a very odd explanation, I feel. It's not when you follow through. A bit of technical advice coming from the ref. He can follow through however he likes, so, so long as it's not excessive. Oh, yes. Could be considered coaching from the ref. <laughs> That's a new one, isn't it? I'll let you have a word. That was an immaculate way of shot for a moment. Two game balls saved. Getting a bit tense. All unfolded from that massive rally. Oh, he got that. Oh, oh. yes. 11 9, game to Rodriguez. Angle. Rodriguez leads. One game to love. Rodriguez is furious. Rodriguez is furious. I'm thinking Moment's furious here. Look at this angle. It's very, very clever. It's been absolutely done. He's not happy at all with the movement. Sending a message there. 19 minutes. Massive, massive first game here. Miguel Rodriguez leads by one game to love. Wow. <laughs> I'll just leave, I'll just leave, Shaq. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. My name's Luke Mabbott. I'm a former squash player. Um, I was on Love Island. We've been together for four years, and he said that he used to play loads when he was younger, so I wanted to see him in action. Oh, the technique. You can tell this man's played a few, <laughs> played with his time. Yeah, well, obviously, he would deck as well. Gonna put Isles. pierces. Yeah, Deck James here. Ready for a bit of a challenge, aren't we? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Not missed one yet. Oh, it's a hot in there. I'll tell you what, the volley work. You totally play tennis, <laughs> eh? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry. Oh. 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 of Rodriguez as well. The family, the Mormon family. Time. Rodriguez leads, one game to love. It's tense, but very colour coordinated, you have to say. Love all. Good start for a moment. Crucial. And Nicole, you're an Ivy League graduate. Hand out, one, two. Tell me, how is it that Rodriguez is able to get such height at 38 years of age? Well, I'm pretty sure he's trained like an absolute beast since he was a <laughs> young, very young squash player back Too in Colombia. I mean, actually, a couple of years ago, we were in Alguna between the World Championships. Uh, you were there, actually. Well, you were commentating, and then you came and you joined us in Alguna, I think, a couple of days before that tournament. Um, I hope this was prior to your injury. And I remember we went out to dinner one night, and we were walking... We were walking back and we passed the gym and it was 9.30 or 10 o'clock at night and Rodriguez was sitting on the spin bike and I saw him the next day and I made a joke of it or something and he said, oh yeah, I just did an easy, recover, an hour recovery spin or something like that. So there's a lot of dedication that goes into the Head upkeep out, and the maintenance three, of his body, which is why he's able to perform like this. It really is incredible. I mean, you don't see any, you don't see many, if any, at the minute, 38 year olds on the PSA World Tour, never mind displaying the ridiculous athleticism that he does. Yeah, just the movements he's able to make over and over again. You don't see any sort of that residual stiffness with him, do you? It's not quite... It's very elastic and explosive, but also he's never particularly been plagued with injuries either. Looks after his body incredibly well. 4-2. He's deliberately waited to hear no Rodriguez. To this is experience coming through. By shouting at me that way. Okay. He's only he's deliberately okay. waited and actually, Woman's just saying there, he's got the Player ghost option to hit, but by the time decision. he actually goes to strike the ball, Woman's right there in between his legs. And I, and I disagree with Moman. I Rodriguez can straighten that all day long. I mean, any professional player can straighten that down the wall. I don't think he only has a boast. 
stroke to Rodriguez. Decision He's upheld. This. What shots does he have? Oh. He's facing Mr. the back wall. Okay. Mr. Moment, it's a conduct warning for dissent. Please accept the decision. Moment has one review remaining. Handout 3 4. Oh, Moment's livid with that decision. What would you have given? I think that's going to be a stroke for me. But, the, but you just said he had a straight option. You said he had a straight drive option to hit. So I think Moment was saying that if he Four. had only a boast, then it would have been a let. Yeah, but you said he had a straight drive and you're still giving him a stroke. I get you. So you're saying he could hit a straight drive, but he was totally prevented from doing so, therefore a stroke. Yeah, agreed. Tied at four all here. And out. Five, four. Not a single seat in the house left. It's Black Ball Sporting Club. through and played, no, played yeah, through. yeah but, you've, but you've, you haven't cleared you haven't cleared hand out five all has to keep it together here it's at it moment Concentration and focus and not engage. He's already been given the conduct warning for descent from the referee. Was that athleticism from <laughs> Ashriquez? Oh, his shoes come up. <laughs> He's shoeless. He's clicking with one shoe. Moment is furious. <laughs> Cannot see the funny side yes, at sir. all. Uh, oh, wow. Player review, Rodrigo. Bear review Rodriguez on the yes let decision. That was absolutely unbelievable. There was so much going on. Court service, please. <laughs> there was so much going on. That is one way to describe that rally. I mean, you're not allowed to <laughs> shoot. <laughs> I don't know if we've ever seen, <laughs> seen that before. That is absolutely brilliant. I mean, you're not allowed to drop it anything on the floor are you only no, your racket, no, no so. equipment but I'm, i don't know the rule about one shoe <laughs> oh that's unbelievable stroke to rodriguez decision overruled rodriguez has one review remaining left side six five oh, there's no way that moment's going to see the funny side of that <laughs> that is quite simply insane how he's managed to win that rally is beyond me. No let. Seven, five. <laughs> From the right, seven, five. Well, Moment is really trying to gather himself here. Just feel he's tittering on the edge. There's been some decisions that he hasn't been happy with. Rally. Down. Sierra, not too far away, but three points Eight, now. Five. Separating the these left. two. I mean, I'm assuming he's bought new shoes, given his shoes haven't turned up and he's bought no, the right no size. Left. No let. Player review Rodriguez. I actually offered on the Rodriguez, no Rodriguez my shoes because we are nearly the same size. Oh. Wow. But he'd already bought those ones. Another review coming in on the no let decision.
What do you think here, Lisa? I think sometimes it's just a let. Is that a deliberate movement for a moment? I think it could be. It's a very yes, Len, this is no aggressive, board. obvious one. There's one review remaining. Left side, 8-5. Look at the intensity that Rodriguez is bringing now with his movement. He's completely perked up here, hasn't he? He's sprinting back to the tee. I mean, can you imagine how much adrenaline must go through you if your shoe fell off and you end up winning the rally? And now, 6 8. Mr. Moman, Mr. Moman, there's no need for you to do that, okay? So, conduct Moman, stroke to Rodriguez. That is dissent and unacceptable. Oh, wow. Moment serving, 6-9. Well, pre in the previous rally, there was a hand signal from Rodriguez. He's not, making a, six, he's not making a fuss of it here, Moment. Well, he can't afford to, can he? Just put his finger up here at the end. Well, and that's just going to fire up Rodriguez even more, isn't it? Adding fuel to the fire. He's enjoying this, Rodriguez. Oh, he slipped. Yeah. Lost his footing completely. Moment. Poor service, Certainly please. would have been able to get that drop back, that's for sure. Absolutely livid. He's furious, isn't he? Just losing his footing. Went up for the split steps, and as he came down, his back foot Thank just you. completely came out from underneath him. Hand out. 10 6, gang ball. He was fooled initially, thinking the ball was going deep. That's why the split step was slightly off. Yeah, I need to give some credit to Rodriguez for that hold. Down, 11 uh, 6, game to Rodriguez. Rodriguez just need one game ball there. Very entertaining second game. Moment would disagree. Massive two love lead here, the Colombian Cannonball. A couple of errors there. The end from Moment. In a good position here, the Colombian. 33 minutes in duration. Miguel leading two games to love. Juniors do look up to us. And if they see we're doing something wrong and we're getting by, by with it, what's going to stop them from doing it? And I already see it in, in the younger generations. And, and, and Mustafa is only 21 years old. So it's not Mustafa who started that. Others, including maybe myself, I don't know. We've, we've done things wrong and we need to, to change that quickly for the next generations. Even if we produce the world champions, but we're looked down upon by other, by other nations, by other players, by our peers, by, our, by other coaches, where is the fun in it? I mean, at the end of the day, we play this sport to be healthy, first of all, and all of this, but to be respected, to, to raise our flag in the most appropriate way. Like, if we're not doing that, then we've, we've defied the cause of, of playing the sport in, in the first place. So I think it's very important uh, to uh, realize that responsibility at a very young age. One sock and one shoe. Just don't know when it ends for the Colombian cannibal movement. 15 Lighticism. seconds. Well, at this rate, he'll certainly be making a play for the Olympics in four years' time, won't he? 42 years young by then. Time. Rodriguez leads. Two games to Love. Lovell. 
is a mountain to climb now for Momen. Lisa, how do you see a way back into this for the Egyptian? I feel what will help is his mindset, how he's going to approach this, how he's going to deal with the decisions. We know there's likely going to be decisions, and we know that he's probably not going to be happy with them. And now, one more. about how he chooses to react in that moment. Knuckle down, make it about the squash, the quality, stretching out the court. Rodriguez not giving him any angles. Discipline, focusing on the weight of shot. Finding a way to turn this match into his strengths rather than ah. Rodriguez. And out. One all. And out, 2-1. Happy campers in the Rodriguez camp. And out to all. To all. No, no, stop, 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 Mr. R stop. Conduct warning, Mr. Rodriguez, please. You're trying to, you're, but you're trying to influence my decision. Stop. The Coming in heavy with these warnings. You're over physical there, okay? But Mr. Moman, you've you stood on your ball as well. So yes, let, but both of you. No, no, no. Mr. Rodriguez, conduct warning for dissent. Please continue. Yes, let. Two all. Both Too players. much physical contact, okay? Getting heavily warned here, Nicole. Yeah, Moman really can't afford to open his mouth and make any comments because he's already been given the conduct stroke. Ah! Uh, it's a wicked put away for Moman. Three, two. Trying to jeer himself up afterwards as well. Crowd's going to help with that, but until now they've been silence haven't they yeah he needs it big time needs to make a push here not a physical one Lisa, do you feel that Moman getting a conduct warning, which actually is going to make him stop talking back to the ref, is actually going to help him? Oh, of course. Sorry, got a conduct stroke. Conduct warning and then a conduct stroke. Five, two. I mean, it is very hard to not react in the moment. It is very, very difficult. And all the adrenaline is flying around. Yeah. 
starting to unravel here. Six, two. For Rodriguez. Yeah, a couple errors coming from behind his opponent. Coupled with the stern mindset now from Down. Roman. Running away Seven, a bit. Two. Sense from Rodriguez that this game could perhaps be gone. Or not, Nicole. And out. 3 7. Trying to read his body language in the last few rallies. Pretty nonchalant. I think All a, a two love lead, Lisa. Especially if he gets to 4 7, I think he's going to make a big push. Be really attentive not to give away those careless errors like he did at the beginning of the game. Just doesn't want to open the door for a moment. I think giving away the third game easily and giving up the ghost would just be. You know, opening and the floodgates eight, and giving three. Roman that confidence that he's desperately seeking right now. No doubt. Do you think Nine, there will be a three. request of a new ball from Rodriguez? he loses this game. Yeah, I think it could be in his favor, especially against Moman where his front court attacks are so deadly. And seeing as also Rodriguez won the first two games, of course, if you feel confident with, you know, Down. maybe got that rhythm going for and you with the, with the faster ball. 4-9. Might rely on that a little bit to get back into it. Also, perhaps just to break up some momentum. This game hasn't been as long as the first two. Out. Well, and out 10 4, game ball. Rodriguez questioning that. Might have an odd stayed one. Stayed in, but can't review the lines. Certainly scared to speak at this point. So six game balls for Moman. Bring himself back into this match. Eleven there four goes. game to moment. Rodriguez Tag moment. leads. Two games to one. Back in this match. Big drop off there from Miguel. Could this be the turning point? Nine minute third game. Static moment, sneaks one back, score is still two games to one. Do you think we're going to get a big roar? We will, definitely. Yeah. He's got it back though. No oh. and there we have it. There you go. Well, not such a big roar because it was. Um, not really the best rally to finish, but there's a big smile, a winning smile from the Malaysian. That's nice to see. A good, good bit of applause from Steinman, the runner-up here. He played his part, but it's Yao that comes through. 12-10, 11-8, 10-12, 11-3, 3-1 in 66 minutes. Words from Omar Abdelaziz. Play will resume in 30 seconds. Alisa, oh, there was no 15 seconds. request for a new ball. Thought there might have been. 
So fourth and potentially fifth game. Rodriguez leads. He's using game this one. ball, which moment you wonder serve. who this is going to favor. Potentially moment. Certainly did think Rodriguez may have requested a new ball. One love. Really softened off. Are we going to five to four? It's certainly in the cards, it seems pretty likely. All depends on the start here from Rodriguez, I feel. Hand out, one all. He can make himself tough to beat in this early stage. He's going to put the pressure on Moment. You can see here, they're just early in that fourth game. Moment's pretty upset with himself. He managed to keep a lid on that in the third, but the sense that he's just teetering on the edge there. He could unravel if it gets tough. One. Obviously can't utter a word at this moment. Not sure if he was actually in a position to hit that. What do you think? Kind of came down really narrow to his leg. Rodriguez, fast hands for a moment, punching the ball into the space. Such quick racket work. And out three, out. two. <laughs> Just waited. And waited. Rodriguez got a lead here. Feels like first time in a very long time in the match. game. Makes that look so effortless. moment and out. made it look so easy three all so much thought Had to go into the pace that was just perfect for that shot
Oh, yes. Best finish of the match for Mormon. 4 3. And I thought we were getting another one of those fishing ones you were talking about, Nicole. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's much fishing here in Cairo. Stroke to Rodriguez. Five four. And out, five all. <laughs> He's buying himself a little bit more time in between points. Rodriguez tied at five all. Very good at that Mr. shot. Rodriguez, can you use your towel during the break? Rodriguez really can throwing everything down the middle of the court. Period. Been handled well. From the Viper. Thank you, court service. Left side, six five. gift that one for Rodriguez Had a lot of space three quarters of the court really moment out overcooked and out seven six
squash has gone up in terms of level. Kind of the interaction, collisions have stopped. The movements from both players. Yeah, Jason Foster was straight on it with the conduct warnings, wasn't he? But it's actually had a good effect on the match. It's cleaned things up a bit. Seven six. Lucky his shirt wasn't a bit baggier. <laughs> I was just going to say that. That's probably why he wears a bit of clothing. Every adaptable, adaptable, Rodriguez. It's amazing though, I've seen Rodriguez play matches which are, you know, they call it disco time, right? Complete exhibition style and also grind it out for 90 minutes on a backcourt and pretty much just hit straight drive. So it's amazing, obviously he's got all that experience, but he can go back to back to fundamentals and back to boring basics when he needs to. Yeah, he has such an awareness of what's required in each different moment. This is hard now, the rallies have really lengthened out. Very tough. Such a crucial, crucial stage of the match as well, isn't it, Lisa? Oh, this is so tough. And the legs. Oh, he's gone the wrong way, he's guessed. Just under two minutes, that rally. Left side, eight, six. Players are just taking chunks out of each other in that Whoa, rally. Look at that reaction for a moment. It says it all. Whoa, tough work. Yeah, the wed, the wed for a moment. Nine to six. Doing enough to get rid of the volley option for Rodriguez. Ten six, game ball. Four game balls at the moment. <laughs> well, Rodriguez just tried to yes leapfrog let. moment. Player review Rodriguez on the yes let decision. Video referee taking a good look at this one. Omar Abdel Aziz is off his seat into the corner, assuming an OLED. Up he gets. Yes, yes let coming in. Held. Rodriguez has no review remaining. 
as we took over the hour mark here in this match. Game ball for moment. Eleven six. Done it. Game to moment. Two games all. The last time these two played, Mormon went two games to love up. He's managed to come back from two games to love down here. Tied at two all. Just found a way back in. Perhaps signs of fatiguing from Miguel. 62 minutes in duration. We are tied here at two all. Well, 62 minutes of very entertaining and now very physically challenging squash. The comeback from Molman is officially on. He's tied it up here at two all. After having been looking kind of down and out, two love down, got his head back on straight. Starting to cause a bit of fatigue in the legs now, for, possibly for the Colombian. Keep this composure if he wants to have success in the fifth against the 38 year old. That was yeah. an incredible pick up. Oh my oh. goodness, she got, got it. it! Here we go. One, two, three. Thanks for coming off the go. Absolutely, absolutely brilliant. It's absolutely magnifique. just keeping the kids entertained here. It's probably the coolest guy in the building. Time. Two games all, moment to serve. Each player has one review available. Level. Final game, this match. One love. Dear. Two love. Two love. 
Again, Mr. Rodriguez, by making comments there, you're trying to influence the decision. Please stop that. Left side, two love. Second warning. That's the second warning. Okay, Mr. Moment, thank you. <laughs> well, both players are back at it. Well, Moment could have potentially got himself another conduct stroke for pointing out that Rodriguez already had a conduct warning. <laughs> so that really could have spiraled. So this is a grueling start to the fifth. Certainly is a bolt. Good news is whoever comes out on top in this match does have a rest day tomorrow. So we'll be able to recover pretty well. Gone for the cross from the middle of the court, oh, off the exaggerated trouble. width. Three love. Are you taking that, Nicole? I mean, got a three love start in the fifth. <laughs> you know, I have. It's okay, but I also I think it highly depends. Like if the person's cleared and you're and you're obviously hitting them. You shouldn't be going. You shouldn't be going cross court, and they're already cleared. Then I think that's done. But you know, to, to take a to take a stroke, because he's trying to hit them. But oh, jeez. I was pushed while hitting the shot. I didn't touch him. I played. I no, played the shot. No, I was no, no, no. You accepted it. I was pushed. No left. Four love. Well, I do sympathize with Tarek Moment here because he did have some contact as he hit it, and you can I know. see Rodriguez's can see hand, hand on the back. All over him. But as Jason Foster said, he did accept the interference. He played the shot regardless. But at what point do you stop if you've already committed to your swing? It's very difficult to stop, isn't it, in that moment? It's one of the toughest things about our sport is the quick decision making, isn't it? Especially when you're fatigued and these guys have just come off a two minute plus rally, haven't they? It's just Have reviewed both players have one review in this fifth game regardless if they lose their review previously in the match they get it back in the fifth Comments, please. No oh, no. I need you to play the ball. No, I need you to play. Player review Rodriguez on the no let decision. Okay, both of you are on notice. I just find it so ironic that <laughs> they're talking and pointing out that the other person's talking. Well, you can see him in his peripheral left hand side. That's the thing. You can see him there, and he's just not sure. 
It's a tricky one, isn't it? When you're not sure if the player is going to no, be there in your back swing or your, no your follow-through, really. And you don't want to clip four. him, but then he's been penalised. Yeah, I feel the ref is just reading the situation there. Perhaps feeling that Rodriguez is trying to make something more of it. He's not looking for a stroke there, no way. Didn't really look like he had much in terms of play the ball, though, was the issue for me. Rodriguez lost his review in his final game. Could this Two, be four. turning momentum here for a moment? 2 4. Moment serving from the left, 2 4. Left. Well, he's not saying much here, Rodriguez, but he's doing a lot with his laughs. He's saying a lot with his laughs. Yeah, the cheer and the fist pump. Technically, it's loud, but that could also be seen a little bit like trying to influence the decision, couldn't it? Three, four. It's aggressive. Yeah. <laughs> and out, five, three. It's a bit of life again, the scoreboard for Rodriguez. Racket too close. And out. Never move his feet. 4 5. 4 5. Moment getting closer. 74th minute. This match. And out. Ah. And out. That is tight. Hit that angle Six, at the right four. moment. Absolutely glued. Are we going to see a bit of panic set in here for a moment? I was just about to say, are we going to see the experience from Rodriguez shine through? Seven, four. Just played two points <laughs> in immaculate fashion. Managing those situations really well. No let. Oh, he's You've been penalised. Well, no, there's there's so much room to play the ball there. He's been penalised for looking for a stroke. Here, and out 5 7. He has. Racket got up really quickly there. 
do agree with the referee. I think there was some daylight to play that ball. It's absolutely Eight human. Five. It's just kind of come out of it. The end of the swing rather than following right through. Fantastic position here, Rodriguez. So how many times has Miguel Rodriguez been in this position? Five games, grueling physical squash, and he's still moving like a dream as well. He hasn't actually beaten Tarek since 2017, the World Championships. It's a brutal boast, phenomenal retrieval from Momin. Yes, let <laughs> Play review moment on the yes, let Moment's looking for a stroke. God, this could backfire, you know. There's the big exaggerated wrap around with a racket. This is really tense. Bit of a rush to the head for a moment, perhaps, because Rodriguez thinks this is a no let because of the wrap around, like you said, Lisa. He'll be happy that this is going to review. If I were a moment, I would have kept this. Yes, let this is review. Rafael. Moment has no belt. reviews remaining. Eight five from the right. Rodriguez serving. Shot in the middle of the court, though, isn't it? Everything at it here, Rodriguez. Good reset. Lovely lift. Ooh. Ooh. No oh. Oh. He's through, no isn't left. he? He's, he's through to play it, and Rodriguez is clear. Oh, there's a lot of time for him to play that, wasn't there, Lisa? Left side, 9-5. <laughs> The most timid of claps from Rodriguez's on, partner there. Yeah, it was a loose shot from Rodriguez, but this time it was Moman's turn. Just misjudge it slightly. Line five. Edging closer to the finish line. Wow. 10 5, match ball. Five match balls now for the Colombian. Right, right. Two love up. Moment out with that angle yet down the middle. Yeah! Stroke to Rodriguez. 11-5. Oh. Match to Rodriguez. Three games to two. Oh, almost 11 9 11-6. 4-11. 6-11. 11-5. Two games to love up. Holman came back. 
tied it at two all. Just kissing his own racket there, Miguel. Ball just coming right into the middle of the court, right into the line for the Colombian. Question is, will his kit arrive in two days' time? He'll have tomorrow off now before playing in the quarterfinals. Woman's already left the building, just taking his stuff. Rodriguez is just having a, a little drinks break before he comes on to court with Michael. He's taking his racket back on. He's obviously going to have a bit of solo practice whilst he's on there. We're going to hear. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back on court Miguel, your winner, Miguel Rodriguez. Michael. We'll be giving away the match ball in just a minute. <laughs> Definitely some keen youngsters for that one. There we go, nice little souvenir. Uh, Miguel, congratulations, well done. Um, I think it's 2017 since you last beat Tarek Momin at the World Championships. Um, it must feel pretty good to get that big scalp under your belt. Yeah, yeah, no idea, but yeah, I came, I came with no expectations. Uh, I was not supposed to stay, uh, to be in this tournament either. I had a lot, a lot, many issues uh, before coming here. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I was feeling great. I was, I was confident yesterday. After my match, um, I knew it was going to be a battle, but I had nothing to, to lose with Tarek. And yeah, that was like a long time ago that I played with him. And uh, I want to thank, of course, Wyatt because he was with me, you know, like trying to, you know, push me, especially in the fifth, because it's the first time that he shouts to me. So I, I like that. I like that. Uh, because I'm, I'm so calm and I was, I was losing some, you know, like no motivation, but uh, maybe some, some pace. And focus maybe because I had the energy and the fitness uh, whatsoever. I think it's, it was a like fantastic performance for me. Terrific result. That was my main goal in this tournament. And yeah, I think that was a great, great day for me. And now you're through to the quarterfinals. Uh, one thing I'm not sure if everyone's aware of here, your bags have gone missing in transit as well. And uh, just tell us who's, whose clothes you're sporting today. Normally we see you in a more colourful outfit, more colourful bags, but you've got, got your own racket, but you've had to buy new shoes and, and this is someone else's clothing. Yeah, I am uh, Cervini. Uh, <laughs> Cervini borrowed borrow me some, some clothes and this is the same outfit as yesterday. So it's, it's working, so I have to go to, back to the hotel, yeah. wash, wash the outfit. And, play again with uh, my quarterfinals with, with the outfit, but sometimes, you know, with, when you have more difficult times, it's when you have to fight and maybe you have more surprises, yeah. So do you, do you travel with your racket? Because that was, that was something that, or did you have to, you have to borrow that? A, obviously your shoes you didn't travel with. Just give us an insight to what the essentials are and what you lost. I always travel with my, with my racket. Yeah. And sometimes with my squash shoes, but this time I just put the squash shoes in the luggage and I, I don't have anything or even boxers, so I'm just <laughs> playing with it. Um, but yeah, I have to buy some shoes and socks, everything. Uh, but yeah, it's working. Hopefully you're not wearing Shabini's pants as well there. But uh, one shot I want to cast your eye back to as well was the remarkable shot here where you lost your shoe, managed to pick it up, return, and win the point as well. Talk us through that. No, that was, I don't know, I don't know what happened there. I, I was about to hit the ball with the shoe, no, actually. <laughs> but uh, no, it's almost a slipper, you know, with, with the sock. Yeah. But I think Tadek, you know, put that ball in the, in the middle and I was, I was very, you know, smart to stop to stop the rally and, and won, uh, I won that point. But, but yeah, enjoy my enjoy my games. First and second was was brilliant for me. Maybe second and third, I was very passive. And uh, yeah, he picked up the pace and he was he was not doing any mistakes at all. And then the fifth, it was like I think 50-50. But I think I was more focused, you know, at the end of the match. Great stuff. Well, we'll see you in the quarterfinals, ladies and gentlemen, Miguel Rodriguez.